Juneman and Seymour Singh cast of 2020, and we would like to say... Good morning, Morrishman! Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> <laughs> Richmond. I'm Ariana Powery. I'm Molly Khan. I'm Caitlin Intartaglio. And I'm Joseph Bedejo. Last weekend was a very special one here at Poor Richmond. For the first time in Poor Richmond history, we hosted the Miss Staten Island and Miss Richmond County Scholarship Pageant. Our very own Gabrielle Ryan took home the title of Miss Richmond County. We are so proud of her. We are also proud of our very own Caitlin Intartaglio for getting runner-up for Miss Staten Island Outstanding Teen. So, if you want to know about our Raider resident title holder, let's take a look. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Ryan, and I'm Miss Richmond County. I'm 17-year-old, and I attend Portman High School. I've danced for almost all of my life. It's really been a part of me. It's a way to express myself. My favorite style of dance would have to be tap or hip-hop. I can talk like Dora. <laughs> Hola, soy Dora. <laughs> One day, I was walking in the staircase, and I just learned that I can talk like Dora. <laughs> Um, I have a dog. Her name is Chase. She is a teddy bear mix, so that's a Bichon and a Shih Tzu. She's adorable. I can stand on my toes. <laughs> that's really weird though. I am the captain of the varsity gymnastics team and the soccer team at Portage High School. Ribs. Baby right, back, baby right, back. <laughs> my favorite Disney movie is Tangled because it's about a girl who's going after her dreams no matter what people tell her to do. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this journey with me for the next year. Signing off. Thanks, Gabby. Congratulations, girls. We're very excited to see what the rest of the year has in store for you. Continuing with the weekend, it's never too early to start celebrating Christmas. Christmas! Especially at the Staten Island Mall. Port Richmond was honored to be invited to this event. Our very own marching band performed in the center court. Our very own Lauren Hagen sang a song. And the event was hosted by our very own Mr. Madunio, a.k.a. Mr. Christmas. Two, one, Merry Christmas and a Happy Thanksgiving. Let's make some noise for the Christmas season officially arriving in the Staten Island Mall. It was really amazing this weekend to see the biggest tree in Staten Island because me personally, I don't celebrate Christmas, so it's really hard to get a tree in the house. And ironically, I love Christmas trees. I really like this event because it kicks off the holiday season and it really gets everybody together. And our very own Mr. Madunio got an interview with Santa Claus. And I found out how he delivers all his presents. How does he do that, Mo? Apparently, he stops time and it takes him six months to deliver all the presents. Great job to everyone that was involved. Thanks to the Staten Island Mall for inviting us to this event. It was very clear that Raider Pride was all over Staten Island this weekend. Speaking of Raider spirit, Ari, our varsity football team advanced in the playoffs yet again. Make sure you pop out this Saturday before sing at 12 p.m. at New Utrecht High School, where they hopefully take the W and advance to the championship. In shifting gears, remember this is the month to be thankful, so our third installment of our segment, Gratitude Makes People Realize, highlights some individuals who put our safety before their own. That's right, Ari. I truly feel safe walking around the school knowing that people are actually putting their lives on the line for our safety. We want to take a second to thank the school safety agents for dedicating their time each and every day to protect us. With more on this, here's our very own Matthew Hale. Good morning, Port Richmond. I'm Matthew Hale, and on this week's edition of Gratitude Makes People Realize, we're going to be interviewing the school safety agents. Here's what they had to say. Good morning, Port Richmond. I'm Level 3 Sims of Port Richmond High School, and this is Agent Miller, who's also one of our school coordination agents. I love being a school safety agent here because it gives me the opportunity to have a positive impact on people's lives and make a difference every day. And I go home feeling like I made a difference in the kids' lives. We absolutely love Port Richmond High School and we love having an impact on the students and staff. It's a wonderful family here. I'm thankful for the school safety agents because they keep us safe and they're genuinely good people and we're able to make relationships with them. I'm thankful for school safety because they obviously keep us safe and that gives me peace of mind. I'm thankful for the school safety agents because they do a lot of work inside the school and also outside of the school. They help volunteer with the NYPD Explorers. 
I appreciate the school safety agents because they help keep our school safe, obviously. Um, they're so friendly. They get along great with the kids. The staff, they're always willing to help. Um, Level 3 Sims is wonderful. Um, Lighty, you know, she has her own after school club and does so many things with the school. Agent Miller, um, she bakes for every single bake sale. Just we're so lucky to have the, the school safety agents that we do. Thank you for always keeping us safe. Those are some great responses. Personally, I'm very thankful for the school safety agents because they make day-to-day -day life in Port Richmond very safe. I'm Matthew Hale and have a good morning, Port Richmond. Thanks, Matt. Guys, I think it's time. I think it's time? It's time. Sing. 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 <laughs> This weekend here at Port Richmond, we are hosting the 37th annual Sing. We are excited to see the competition and who comes out on top. As overall director, it's been great to see both teams grow as individuals and as competitors. So bringing us behind the curtain and onto the stage, let's kick it over to Anthony Mano. Good morning, Port Richmond. I'm Anthony Mano for this week's special edition of our 37th annual Sing competition. Today, we'll be getting a closer look on what both teams have to offer tonight at 7 p.m. and tomorrow at 3 p.m. So before we do anything, let's get a closer look behind the curtain now to get a little taste of the performances to come. Sing is a student-led performance created from two talented and dedicated groups of individuals. The Juneman is made of juniors and freshmen, and the Senior is made of seniors and sophomores. Sing is also a time for teams to display their amazing talent and ideas they love to showcase on stage to the best of their abilities every year. Tickets are still available at the Esso store for just $5 and will be available at the door as well. We caught up with some of the directors and students involved to see what they had to say. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Ryan, the director of the Seymour Sing, and we're here watching the Juman right now. Um, but the Seymour Sing is called Unwritten, and it's basically about a struggling writer named Jack, and he goes to the library to find some inspiration to write his new book, and he finds himself inside his storybook. Um, it takes place in the 1920s, and he meets a kid named Joey, and he helps him throughout his journey in writing his book and he really teaches him to be a kid again. And he finds that imagination can really take you anywhere you want to go if you just believe in yourself. Hi, my name is Eddie McConville, and I am on the Seymour team. I play Jack, who is a struggling author who goes into his imagination with the help of a young boy to help me write a new story. And I'm excited because I know we're gonna have the fourth win. We've been winning for the three years so far, and I'm just excited for this year because it's better than last year. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin Zataglio from the Scene More Sing. I'm also the dance director, and I just want to say I hope you guys come out to see Sing because we're going to get our fourth victory in a row. It's a really great show, and I really hope you guys are going to take the time to come see it. I'm Taylor Brock, and I'm a dancer on the Seymour cast. And even though this is my first year doing Sing, I am very excited to compete with them, and I am very happy that I decided to join this and hopefully help them take their fourth win. Hey, my name is Angie Marie Reyes. I'm the director of the Jinmen Sing, and today I am backstage with the Seymours actually rehearsing. Um, our show is called Hello My Name Is and it's about a girl on her self-discovery as a senior in high school. We've been working really hard. You guys should come out and support Friday and Saturday. Hi, my name is Amanda Powery. I'm the co-director and choreographer for the June Min Sing team and even though they're right behind us doing good and they won three years in a row, but we're working just as hard and I think we got it in the bag Saturday. So. Hi, my name is Lana Davidoff. I'm part of the June Min and I'm vocal director. Hopefully this is going to be the first year that we win after a long time. I'm so confident in my cast. I'm so proud of them. Hopefully we pull it through. Even our proud principal, Mr. Greenfield, gave us a moment to give us his input on one of his favorite school activities, which is SING. So SING is by far one of my favorite events of the school year. One, it always marks the start of the holiday season at Port Richmond High School. But it's also a tradition that has been around since before I was a freshman at Port Richmond High School over 35 years ago. And it's just a remarkable production. And what I like most about it is that it is completely student run and student driven. And it shows the absolutely amazing talent that we have in this building. There's a lot of talent on the Port Richmond High School stage and we'll all be going down tonight at 7 p.m. and tomorrow at 3 p.m. Tickets are still available at the Esso store and will be available at the door for just $5. One thing that is certain is that all the students will be giving it their all in hopes of being awarded the coveted Sing Trophy. From the auditorium, I'm Anthony Mano, and have a good morning, Corrigan. 
Thanks, Ant, for taking us behind the scenes. All in all, it's a tradition here at Poor Richmond, so make sure you come out tonight at 7 and tomorrow at 3 to be a part of it. Tickets are only $5, and it's a Color Word certified event. Who do you guys think is going to win? See you more. Well, we're going to have to see about that, guys. Last night was the start of parent-teacher conferences. Thank you to everyone who came out. Today they will continue from 1220 to 220. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to tune in next week for our Thanksgiving special, which will be aired on Wednesday. What else is in the agenda for this week? The blood drive is next week. If you haven't made an appointment, please go do so. Save a life. Door decorating contest also starts next week, so teachers, don't forget to deck the halls. I'm looking at you. Be sure to check out the bi-weekly podcast called The Raider Blast. Keep up with us on social media at PRHS Activities, anything related to GMPR, hashtag GMPR. I'm Caitlin Intartaglio. I'm Joseph Badejo. I'm Ariana Powery. I'm Molly Khan. And have, have a good, good morning, morning, Port Richmond. Richmond.